uh so hi everyone today we'll be discussing about what is multi arm bandit problem in reinforcement learning that is mab it's very uh, it's a very popular as well as very simple approach to solve out uh, some stateless reinforcement learning problems so let's understand how does it work and what is it actually looks like so basically a bandit looks something like this so this is a casino game if you like you must have played in your video games or on mobiles or eventually some of you must have visited casinos also in real life so this is a game which is pretty uh, clear to you so here this particular arm that you can see uh, is uh, so if you understand this game so the uh, the player the agent assume to be reinforcement learning environment only so the agent pulls in this arm and he gets a reward on the screen now now assume that we have multiple such games multiple such booths four or five booths that we have and there is an agent there now he wish to know which booth he should go and pull the arm to get the maximum reward how he should choose that the multi arm bandit is based on that only so multi arm bandit is uh, helps us to solve a uh, stateless reinforcement learning problems so what do we mean by stateless reinforcement learning problems uh, reinforcement learning problems where we don't have any states so uh, by this we mean that uh, the agent takes up an action he gets an instant reward and the episode ends then and there only so there is just one action that is involved in an entire episode there are no multiple states that we are building up like in for example in case of a game of snakes and ladders you uh, like your destination is far away so there are multiple states that we follow up uh, if you throw a dice uh, it comes as 6 we go to state 6 then we go to state 12 then we go to state 15 then the snake bites us we can come back to state 8 so there are multiple states in that but in case of uh, multi arm bandit problems the user takes an action he chooses a bandit he gets an instant reward and the episode resets itself we get a new uh, episode there are many problems like that uh, so we will be discussing how mb problems can be solved out so it's pretty easy what you need to take is uh, we need to first of all initialize an array of uh, size mx where x is the total number of slot machines we have uh, and set all the values as zero so eventually assume that we have five uh, arm bandit uh, slot machines with us uh, and uh, we wish to know which slot machine is the best to get maximum reward so m would the size of array m would be 5 in this case and we'd be initializing this array with all values 0 now what we'd be doing is that again following a uh, an epsilon greedy policy as we have discussed in my previous video we can choose up any r any slot machine to pull the slot to pull the bandit and depending upon the reward we get we would be updating this m with that value so assume that uh, we followed up epsilon greedy policy and eventually we get uh, to uh, we get that we should take action 3 this means that we should be pulling the bandit in arm in machine 3 in machine 3 we get some uh, reward 10 so what we will be doing is that we will be updating the uh, value for m at index 3 as 10 now again uh, we would be pulling that arm now uh, if uh, uh, till the time where we, uh, we wish to train the particular mab model now assume that uh, for the uh, second time we got a 4 uh, we got a then we got a 1 then we again got a 3 we are training it multiple times the mmv system now once we again get a 3 what we would be doing is that we would be averaging out with the previous values so if you remember m3 earlier we got 10 now we assume that we got 5 so we would be putting out an average 10 plus 5 and we will be making it 7.5 so we would be going through multiple such iterations 1000 2000 5000 iterations where we would be pulling out a by arm we would be recording its reward and we would be averaging its value with the previous values now eventually once we feel that we have enough of episodes with us we will be stopping this action and we will looking at our uh, m array now this m array whichever uh, particular index whichever particular slot machine has the maximum best average value best average uh, reward rate that would be considered as our best uh, solution to solve the multi arm bandit problem so it can be the case that by the end of the time out of the five slot machine uh, first machine has an average reward of 6 second has an average reward of 7 after assume that we have performed 3000 4000 episodes uh, machine uh, machine 3 has an average uh, reward of 4 machine 4 has an average reward of 6 and again machine 8 10 5 has an average reward of 10 now in this case you know that ki as we have performed enough samples we are pretty sure that uh, if uh, the agent takes up machine 5 uh, so he would be more uh, he, there are more chances of him being successful hence uh, in this uh, solution we would we would say that Machine five is the best uh, solution to solve this multi-arm bandit problem.